Spartan's Finest, and we are back. We are back because for the second time in uh, just three days, four days, got another dead end win. This one took everybody on deck. Let's get right to the action, which commenced with Booty, Bootius Maximus on Java. Now this was a great hit. I did actually see this already. Usually I'm kind of seeing these blind. We're going to go uh, double speed. So gathering up just a little bit of extra GBE up there on the left. And you see that was worth, let's see, eight. So an extra 24 GBE. And you'll see why that's important towards the end. Beautiful walk. Watch this. Triggers one mine, but look at look at the precision walk there. Nobody else was left out. Reflare for positioning and then flaring the core. Now, unfortunately, that shock locker, uh, shock launcher was missed. Had that not been missed, had he actually been able to get that, this, this very well could have been a solo. That was one of the finest walks I think I've ever seen just in all my three years of playing Boom Beach. Uh, literally a, a textbook demonstration in how to do how to do the walk on Javanese. Okay, SD, similar concept. He's going to farm some GBE there on the right. Going to clear the mines. So it gathers about uh, 8 cells, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15 or so. So that's worth about 50 extra GBE. Brings the rest of the troops in. Intermediate flare points. And up to the main one. And this one too, this one was close. This one was close to a solo. Shock, shock, shock. Yeah. Just needed, I mean, like last, uh, I just lost my train of thought there anyway. Great hit. Each each one of those hits took, uh, you know, three quarters of the core, so two thirds. All right, next up is fingers on strange attractors. Strange attractors. That's I mean, let's call it what it is. It's just a weird base. It it looks a lot more intimidating, I think, than it truly truly is. Um, if you can get to this spot, um, right there, kind of about one, two o'clock. I mean, there is a, there is a spot outside of the range there. You see the range of that group of, uh, grapplers, you know, here's the range of everybody else. So that spot kind of one, one o'clock of the core. And that seems to always be the case, no matter how many grapplers are there, there is that little spot, um, where fingers is and it's just kind of the safe spot it's like the sweet spot for taking uh, taking down this base kind of the way you know almost every base has the same sweet spot um, you know Java does shoot uh, even looking at the bases we're dealing with today almost every every uh, every base has its sweet spot All right, next up is Bix same thing on Javanese. Now the, the tricky part is if you're not the first guy, you obviously cannot farm GBE the way the way the first hitter did. And Mike here, Bix here, ran into uh, a very similar problem that Booty did, and it's it's trying to get all eight, nine, excuse me, of the, the three 
shock launchers and the two gosh let me learn how to count numbers the three shock launchers and the six machine guns all in one shock it's next to impossible to, to hit that i mean bix and booty are, are two of the finest players i've ever seen and yet um i think golly i it it probably is possible though they wouldn't be trying i'm sure there's other videos where you've seen that but yeah, the precision drop you have to do just probably literally to the edge of this machine gun to get that to encapsulate all nine. Um, I think it's probably a case of if you do, if you are the first hitter and you can farm this area here with power cells, you know, maybe it might, might even be worthwhile to, you know, shock the SLs, shock the machine guns, and then, you know, Maybe one there to cover this group, and then another one there. Try to get those. It's still four shocks, which is obviously 56 GBE. So you'd have to be rolling quite a bit. Um, I don't know, just food for thought. I mean, and I'm saying that food for thought is the obviously the worst player in our little group of 10 here. <clears throat> anyway, next up, Achilles on Callisto. Finishing off uh, the nice job, SD started with again can't can't really mine the gbe so there's that's always the tougher part yeah and actually look at that cord um sd took geez louise 85 90 percent of it really and so while yeah didn't have um didn't have but one salvo of 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 uh rockets to fire off there and that core dropped so uh it's kind of the blessing of the curse if, you, if you're the first guy and you're going to go for the glory the glory kill shot i mean you, you do have to do quite a bit of work since you are depleting the the uh, farming resources of all subsequent attackers uh and so the good thing was uh, both booty and SD were able to get well, well more than half on their on their hits. Okay, bunk on Conifold here. And again, took. Let's look at that. Four fifths, five sixths, eighty five percent of that core. Um, really, some good shots here. Okay. Finishing off, everything had to be soloed at this point. This, this one, guys, this, okay. This is what you call a pro hit. We'll quad it until we get up for the action. Nice spacing on the smokes. That was exactly where to go. A little bit of mine trippage there, but you know, it is what it is. Now we'll go we'll go full full regular speed that is. But guys, watch watch what is targeted and what is shocked and when. So going after bullet. Now obviously the, the stray damage of the rockets is gonna you're gonna lose a few zooks there. But then as bullet spreads, you know, he increases his distance from the rockets, which is obviously a super good thing. And then just, yeah, look at that smoke, just so they don't get plastered. And we'll quad this up. We'll quad this up. I mean, my gosh, yeah. So trailing, a.k.a. Adam, what a, 
Uh, just a marvelous hit. This really was uh, inspiring. I think I think everyone else in the group, especially those of us who had yet to attack, were like, hey, if Adam can produce this kind of hit, we've got to get another DE win here, which we were just able to do. Um, yeah, like I said, this is one of the finest hits I've, I've almost ever seen. Uh, and as we are all learning, uh, Bullet definitely, definitely has his place. Um, certainly in Ops with Zookas. I think all of us are discovering, especially this week with the Tribe Boost, that Bullet plus Warriors, especially these Boosted Warriors, undefeatable. Or unstoppable, rather. Okay. Next up we have King. Who's going to finish off Connie. A little bit more of the quote-unquote traditional walking path here. Slow it down to regular. Three shocks and some critters. And once again, when you're the second guy, obviously you don't have to do nearly the the degree of damage that the first guy did. All you're really looking forward to is is finishing it. Now, at, at the end of the attack here, we always do base notes. And since Java did have more force points on the off chance that we weren't sure... And that's not from a lack of confidence, but, you know, uh, if Juice was going to take that down. So I came in pretty much just to farm the, or try to bart that. And I probably could have done it with just a little bit more artillery, but I decided to throw a few zooks out there just to be on the safe side and earn myself some extra GBE, and there it went, so... That was a virtual non-attack from me, but obviously we needed that 298 in some iteration. And then juicers, which, uh, and again, uh, Adam's centaur solo was fabulous. But this one right here, it's right up there with it, so cleans the mines, clears the mines rather. See, and he's already lost the only two Zookas that he's going to lose. Okay, so Shock's bullet there to create the separation from the ladies. So when, when Shock launchers and rockets fire on bullet, they are not uh, getting any collateral damage on those girls. Really, really fabulous there by, by Juice. And there it was, 10 hits. And down goes dead end. You see we had one there with nine. A couple of, couple of not quites in between. But I'll tell you what, guys. That's, uh, that's two out of four. That's a 50% on dead end. And our team, I know for sure, will take it. Again, just a roll call on the team. It's been a little different than when we had the series earlier. Uh, some of the old faces, obviously myself, Juicers, Achilles, SD, Fingers and Bix are the, are the same guys who were with us a couple months ago when we were making these videos. Trailing, a.k.a. Adam. Uh, this guy right over here is uh, Bunk. This guy right here kind of looks like the fish. That's King. And then obviously Booty. Bootyus Maximus. And all the new guys really are just fabulous players. Um, all of them light years better than myself. Um, but again, you know, we're on, upward and onward. 19.075 is our highest force point total. We're flirting again with that top 50. And if, if we can bring a 50% win rate on dead end to the table it won't be it won't be too long before you see us back up in here yeah i just need a couple of a couple more dead end wins and even on the days we're not getting wins if we can crack that thousand point barrier 
good things are going to follow. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm out.